I would say my favorite part about the program is all the opportunities that I've been given since I've been here. The industry engagement is great here at this program. It's one of the only places you can go, especially in the automotive industry, where the industry comes to you. Manufacturers recognize SAU as you know, a stand uh, in the automotive industry. You know, some of our graduates have gone to you know, Ford, Toyota, GM, and you know, they're usually coming back to recruit new students uh, from SAU. We have a very large facility with tons of training equipment. We have over 140 vehicles of cars and trucks and all kinds of different equipment that you get to learn on. Today I'm disassembling this 4L80 transmission and we have tons of time to work hands-on with the different uh, vehicles and components as you see here. Um, it is not just a lecture-based program. Hands-on is a, is a big part of what we do here. Here they want you to learn in and out and they want you to learn, oh that's your piston ring gap or you measure things to the ten thousandths and the thousandths place. So like you have to be very precise. Being together with everyone that has the same interest as you and how passionate all the instructors are about their jobs, about the classes and really wanting to push you to be the best that you can be. And that's something I really like about this program for sure. My name is Carly Emery and I'm a recent graduate at SIU. I studied aviation management and aviation flight and now I'm a full-time flight instructor at the university. This is the lobby of the Transportation Education Center, also known as the Tech. The Tech houses are aviation management, aviation flight, and aviation technologies majors. The Tech is located a couple miles northwest of the main campus. Here in the lobby hangs our Cessna 152 that represents our flying Salukis. Our flying Salukis compete nationally and have won now a total of nine national championships. Down the hall to our left is our flight operations and off to our right is our faculty and our instructor offices where our students meet and uh, meet with our instructors and the faculty members. We're gonna go ahead and move on down to flight operations to give you a further look. Welcome to our flight operations. This is where our aviation flight students start their day, whether it be them checking in for their flight or waiting for an airplane, checking the weather, or meeting with their instructor to go over their flight planning. When our student checks in for their flight, they receive an aircraft packet that has the keys and the checklist to enable them to be ready to go fly. Our, we also have our executive transport offices where our senior students have the opportunity to fly advanced aircraft. Now we'll move on to our flight simulators in this room over there. Welcome to our flight simulation center. This is where we have five state-of-the-art simulators. We have three Cessna 172 simulators, a CRJ simulator, and a crosswind motion trainer behind me. This allows students to fly in challenging conditions while still doing it safely. Now we'll go upstairs to our ATC simulator. This is our air traffic control flight simulator. In addition to our three majors, we give our students the opportunity to pursue a minor in air traffic control. The main simulator behind me gives the students the opportunity to act as if they were in the tower controlling traffic coming into land. The room back there gives the students the opportunity to act as if they were approach or center. Now we'll go outside to meet Tommy and he'll show you our fleet. Hey guys, my name is Tommy. I'm a senior here in the Aviation Flight and Technologies programs at SIU. Behind me you can see our flight line and our planes are parked and ready for students to go fly. We have 38 different types of training aircraft at SIU, including Cessna 172s, 152s, 310s, and Piper Arrows. We have a mix of analog and advanced avionics in our planes. Here you can see a 737 donated to us by United and a Gulfstream donated to us by the Navy. In front of me is our hangar that houses all of our training aircraft. And next, we'll be transitioning to the maintenance hangar.
Welcome to our aircraft maintenance hangar. Students will work to get their bachelor's degree in aviation technologies as long as, along with their airframe and power plant certificates. All the planes you see behind me are used by students to achieve these ratings. In the back left, we have our sheet metal lab. That's where students learn how to fabricate and repair sheet metal structures, along with our gas turbine lab to my right, where students learn to repair and overhaul jet engines. Upon completing your aviation degrees, you have the option to specialize in one of three areas, either avionics, which is located down my hall and to the left, or advanced composites down the hall and to the right, or a helicopter lab, and that's where we're going now, to check out a UH-1 that was flown in Vietnam along with other helicopters that we have. Welcome to our helicopter maintenance facility. In this lab, once you're done with your airframe and power plant courses, you can choose helicopters as a specialization. We have multiple different types of helicopters and models to work on. Everything from a Bell 47, the Bell 206 Jet Ranger, a UH-1 from Vietnam, and the commercial version of the UH-1, the Bell 205. In, these, in this lab, you'll learn all about field maintenance and overhauling components. This hangar houses both lab and lecture area. Now let's go on to the test cell where we can observe a class and process. This is our aviation test cell. The test cell was built in 2012. It holds four test cells in it, two for reciprocating engines, two for jet engines. As you can see behind me, there are students disassembling and reassembling reciprocating engines, which they'll later test in the test cells. The uh, jet test cells are used to run aircraft under specified conditions. We also have this large hangar space for students to bring in aircraft and demount the engines from the aircraft, along with our two turbine test cells used to run jet engines. Thank you for joining us on our tour of SIU Aviation today. For more information, you can go online at aviation.siu.edu. We look forward to seeing you soon. My name is Dr. Phil Anton and I am a professor and program director for exercise science here at SIU. I'm super excited that you're along for the ride as we take a tour of our facilities here at Davies Hall. As you may know, exercise science is known as the launch pad major. It can propel you into a wide variety of careers like physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, strength and conditioning coaching, cardiac and pulmonary rehab, athletic training, and chiropractic, as well as many other areas of medicine. Our students gain valuable hands-on experience working in our laboratories, as well as our many unique service projects. These experiences help enhance their personal and professional skills and bolster their resumes, which helps put them in a position to be very competitive when it comes to hunting for jobs, as well as slots in graduate and professional schools. In our exercise physiology lab, students have the opportunity to work with top-of-the-line health and fitness evaluation equipment, like our Quitten EKG system and our Parvomedics metabolic cart. In the cardiovascular control lab, we learn all about the control of blood flow through devices like the lower body negative pressure system. In the social psychology of sport lab, you learn about the psychological side of sport, like how emotions affect performance and the motivational factors that lead to consistent exercise. One of the great aspects of the program is the unique hands-on opportunities that will help us get jobs or get into graduate school. Exercise science can launch you into many different careers. Strong Survivor students, staff members use exercise as a therapeutic tool to help cancer survivors and their caregivers get through the treatment and recovery process. The faculty find ways to make learning fun. The exercise science program is kind of my home away from home. I love the opportunities that the program provides to serve my community. Well, the faculty are very understanding and supportive of issues we're dealing with. And that's really what I love about SIU. All right, that's the end of the tour. Thanks for your attention. We hope you learned a lot. If you want more information on exercise science 
and all it has to offer, please visit our websites. To apply to SIU, go to siu.edu and find Apply Now. Hello, future Salukis. My name is Lauren and I'm a student in the Food and Nutrition program. I'm excited to have you joining us today as we tour our facilities. Let's get started. The Human Nutrition and Dietetics program has many features students are looking for in a major. We're a fully accredited program. In fact, we've been accredited for the past 30 years. Our program provides a variety of teaching techniques to accommodate all learning styles. In fact, our students graduate within three years of starting the program. And many of our students have grade point averages higher than the average SIU graduate. To become a registered dietitian, it's required to first be accepted into an internship program. Our students' program match rate is higher than that of the national average. The last step to becoming a dietitian is taking the national registration exam. Our graduates' passage rate exceeds the national requirements. But really the most valued aspect of our program is the students. They're our number one priority. We will go above and beyond to help them succeed personally, professionally, and academically. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's see what our students have to say about the program. Students get hands-on experience in our modern kitchen labs where we cook for quantity food production as well as experimental foods. No prior experience needed. The Culinary Club also prepares for different food events happening at SIU. This cooking demonstration is made for students so they can be filmed. The h and students have also been featured on local news channels preparing recipes. The first step of this recipe is to cut the chicken into one inch cubes. And I'm just going to slice right down the middle. At the fueling station, we try to provide foods for athletes that has the right combination of macronutrients so they can perform their best on and off the field. These foods will help them recover after workouts and perform their best during the workouts. Their understanding of their students' lives. They know we have other classes, work, and clubs on campus. And they're willing to push back projects and tests for to have their students achieve their full potential. Students have access to their own computer lab. It's a place we work on homework, study, do research, and can check our emails. While there are many things I love about the nutrition program, I would have to say that my favorite about it is that it's provided me with a safe zone where I feel comfortable. And in this safe zone, I have created many lifelong friendships. The program provides hands-on experience such as food production, food experiments, and quality food control. One of my favorite things about the nutrition program is the hands-on learning that it provides through labs and courses. What I love about the SIU nutrition program is how the faculty encourages students to stay involved in all SIU activities. As a Saluki Shaker, we are part of the new student orientation where we motivate students to be a part of various SIU activities on campus. Graduates of the Human Nutrition and Dietetics program have careers in all areas of nutrition and dietetics, including traditional roles in clinical, often specializing in areas such as diabetes, nutrition support, cardiac rehab, pediatrics, bariatric, and even oncology. We have grads with exciting careers as sports dietitians, working with professional athletes to help improve their performance through nutrition. And we also have students who have embraced social media and created their own blogs aspiring to become social influencers. While others have found their niche in food service management, public health nutrition, and teaching at universities. This major is also a great option for students interested in postgraduate studies in medicine, nursing, physical therapy, or really any health-related field. If this intrigues you, visit our website at nutrition.siu.edu or shoot us an email at nutrition at siu.edu for more information. The Mortuary Science and Funeral Service Program at SIU is the only bachelor's degree program in the state of Illinois. It provides a challenging and rewarding curriculum that teaches students about the total aspects involved in the death and bereavement process. When a student goes through the Mortuary Science and Funeral Service Program and passes the National Board Examination, they become a licensed funeral director and embalmer. Currently, we are standing in the merchandising lab. 
While in the program, students learn about the ins and outs of mortuary management, merchandising, and marketing. Welcome to our brand new state-of-the-art nursing lab. In this space, students will learn, practice, and retain all of the information needed to be an effective bachelor's prepared registered nurse. The hands-on opportunities are not just limited to this lab space. During the latter part of the program, students will be required to do clinical rotations that will allow them to hone in on their skills and practice every valuable component taught in the classroom and lab setting. One amazing benefit, among many, that sets the SIU Carbondale BSN program apart from other institutions that offer a similar program is the fact that our students will also graduate with a minor in healthcare management. Welcome to our Physical Therapist Assistant Lab. The Physical Therapist Assistant Associate Degree Program at SIU is designed to prepare graduates to provide physical therapy services under the direct supervision of a physical therapist. Becoming a Physical Therapist Assistant can get you into a working medical career quickly. As a Physical Therapist Assistant, you work directly with patients as they recover from injuries or illness and regain movement. Our five semester program includes clinical experience where students work alongside licensed physical therapists and physical therapist assistants. Our physical therapist assistant program is accredited by the Commission on Accreditation and Physical Therapy Education. Graduates are qualified to take the licensing exam required in Illinois and in other states. SIU Carbondale offers the only radiological sciences bachelor's degree program in the state of Illinois. We have three specializations, diagnostic medical sonography or ultrasound, MRI CT, and radiation therapy. This is our MRI CT simulator lab. One of the amazing things about this lab is that it is set up as if you were in a hospital or clinic setting. Once images are pulled up on the screen, students are able to easily identify diseases, fractures, tumors, and cancer just by looking at the scan. If necessary, students also have the ability to go over anatomy. The MRI-CT simulator lab prepares students to be successful during their clinical rotations. The MRI-CT program is accredited by the Joint Review Committee on Education and Radiologic Technology. This is our radiation therapy lab. Students in the radiation therapy specialization learn to use gamma rays, x-rays, electrons, and protons in the fight against cancer. Our faculty will teach you the science of radiation, treatment patterns and survival statistics, and nursing techniques for cancer patients. Our radiologic sciences program is recognized by the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists and accredited by the Joint Review Committee on Education and Radiologic Technology. This is our sonography lab. Medical sonography is a rapidly growing imaging specialty in the field of healthcare that uses sound waves or ultrasound to produce images of internal organs, blood flow, and the developing baby. As a senior, students gain hands-on experience during off-campus clinical rotations. When you finish the program, you'll be able to sit in for the national registry exams and you'll have earned a minor in healthcare management. Our diagnostic medical sonography program is accredited by the Joint Review Committee for Diagnostic Medical Sonography.